slick stick for hook and slice reduction. Let me just let me just read this to you. Can't find the fairway. Everyone hitting it by you, apply a thin layer of slick stick to the club face and worry no more. That's it, stress-free golf with the slick stick. Slick stick reduces ad adverse spin, giving you longer, straighter shots. Unique material is non-toxic, environmentally safe, and does not conform to anyone's rules. Yeah, not you, not you watching. I don't conform. Because it's time to uh, to try out the slick stick. I'm, I'm just going to put it out there. It does look like a prit stick. I mean. I'm pretty sure I was making like twig things and arts and crafty things with this in, in preschool. I'm pretty sure, you know, year three, bit of glitter, whack it on, you know. Who knows, it, it might be totally different, but yeah, the slick stick, let's get into it. So I've got these two things off Amazon, well, they're two of the same things, the slick stick it's like it says, it reduces adverse spin. So hook spin and slice spin, drop down, longer straighter shots, more fairways. We're gonna put that to the test today. I'm here at Formby Ladies Golf Club. I'm on the 18th hole. And if you've ever played here, if you do miss a fairway, you'll be losing a load of golf balls. So hopefully the slick stick is gonna help me hit some more fairways. We're gonna hit five shots on my GC2 with a Pro V1 with no slick stick. Then I'm gonna lather my driver up and we're gonna see how long and straight I am with the slick stick. I mean, is it really the secret of good golf? It's legal, you can't use it in competition, so, you know, there's that out of the window. But if you're playing, you know, on your own and you, you just pull it out and say to your mates, you know, no, it's not a chapstick. I'm about to wipe this on my golf club. You can only really use it on your woods as well, because obviously get it in your iron grooves, you'll get no spin and it, it just won't work. Yeah, um, I can't wait. I just, I'm a little bit baffled by it. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go. So as you can see, my uh, driver face isn't lathered in the slick stick. So as of yet, I'm gonna hit five shots down here. 18th hole for me, ladies. It's 346 yards, tight fairway. Well, it's probably one of the more generous ones actually here. It's about 35 yards wide. Um, see how many we get on the fairway. See what my slice and hook ratio is. So we'll see that on the, on the GC2 numbers. And then we're gonna lather up. Yeah, it's getting steamy. And then we're gonna see what happens with the slick stick. Ball number one, let's go. That's also a missed fairway. Um, I'm hoping this slick stick's gonna work because they've been two wild drives so far. So it can only get better is what I'm saying here. It can only, can only get better. You're not getting straighter than that one. Okay, okay, okay. Fifth and final golf ball with the normal, normal way of playing golf, not having a, a, a face full of slick stick. Um, we've got two on the fairway, two user errors. Let's see if we can get three out of five on the fairway. And then we're just gonna have a quick look at what the curvature and side spin averages are for those shots. That is a nice shot. And that is three out of five on the fairway as we go through the first five shots. So a few little numbers. 275 yards on average of carry with those five, three out of five on the fairway, and my side spin RPM was uh, average, sorry here, 146 revs. My backspin, was 1,794. Didn't have a massive amount of shape on them. First two a little bit push slicey, probably 10 yards of, of um, 
of movement on those. So now, as we put some slick stick on, let's see what happens and see if we drop down below sub 100 on the side spin and let's see if we get over that 275 carry number. About the slip stick, it's like I said, it's to reduce your side spin. So we get side spin and we would see the ball move from either left to right, hook or slice. With this being reduced, we shouldn't see as much as that. The directions are to apply, oh God, that feels just like Pritt stick. Apply a layer on here. And all I'm thinking with this is there's just gonna be less friction on the face. So I can see why there wouldn't be as much spin, but what if you've got the club pointed in the wrong direction? Surely it's just gonna go No, no smell, can't put it on, you know, like a lip balm. But even that, I mean, look at that. That does not look appealing. I don't want to say what it looks like. It's a uh, family-friendly channel. But five golf balls, <laughs> slip stick. Is that, no, slick stick, slick. Let's see what we can do. It's really good at letting you know where you've hit it. I've hit a little bit of heel. I got a little bit of draw and I missed the fairway. Um, I think I'll probably apply a bit more. I've obviously not applied enough to the face there because it, it didn't go bullet straight down the middle. Um, right, let's hit our next golf ball. Let's see if the, the slick stick can redeem itself. Oh, that is a bomb. Now that is a bomb, I'm interested to see that one. Oh, come. I'm actually proud of this one. Slick stick, you did me well there. Look at that. It's great for telling you where you've hit the face. Great. Spins down. Right, that's interesting. That is interesting. That has gone just laser, laser straight. You know what the key was? I added more slick stick then, so let's be gone with you. Let's add more. I mean, it doesn't look good. It doesn't smell of anything. Maybe they should do a cherry version then, you know. I'm just saying it would sell loads, cherry, cherry slick stick. Woo! Right, here we go. Oh my God. Oh, slickio, stickio. Add more, go long. Right then, so that's, that's two balls, like literally have split the fairway. One's in the rough on the left. We've got two more to go. Can the slick stick? I mean, it's a shame it's illegal to use in competition. Social play, great but I wouldn't want to be doing that. I'm thinking of messing your head cover. You, know, you could clean it on a towel before, but you need a new towel every round. Okay, that's gone straight as well. That's got literally a couple of yards. It is mint, what I mean. If you're striking it well, you can see where you're hitting it. Final ball with the slick stick. I'm a little bit don't want to say annoyed by the outcome, but I think I might have been proven wrong here. Let's hit one more. There we go, dead straight again. I mean, I've hit them all pretty well, bar the first one that was a little bit healed and went left and missed the fairway. All the rest have been pretty central and it's four out of five fairways. Let's take a look at a few numbers. I want to give you uh, give you my opinion. So has the slick stick been the secret to hitting straight at golf shots? Do you know what it actually has? Um, the carry distance, firstly, has gone down. It's gone down by one yard or 0.9 of a yard to 274.4. We were 275.1. So that's not even 0.9, Matt. Get better at math. Um, interestingly, here we go. The side spin, we were one. 146 before it's gone down to 61 left and that's that one shot on average they were 
they were very, very good there. 61 revs of side spin. Uh, the back spins dropped as well. 1,150 as opposed to the 1,700 we saw before. So is it the secret to hitting it straighter? It definitely does work. My query is, do you want your driver looking like this every time you play? Because now I'm going to have to go and, I mean, it's sticky and horrible. So it's going to take a bit of cleaning to get this off. But do you know what? As a fun little experiment that, the slick stick, does it work? Yes, it does. Um, I was, I was quite impressed by how straight those golf balls went. That's the straightest I've hit it in a long time. But I don't think I'll be putting that on my driver face every time. Guys, hope you've enjoyed that little test there. Slick stick, try it out or just, just put a chapstick on your golf club. <laughs>